Mrs. Curry. Maria Sklodowska was very excited at the thought of going to school. She went around the village telling people proudly that she was going to school. Now I can read and study. Maria did very well at school. She skipped the grades twice and studied together with the boys and girls who were two years older than she. Maria was always at the top of her class, even in that situation. At that time, Poland was under the control of Russia, so teaching the Polish language was strictly prohibited. But the teachers taught the children the Polish language secretly. When a school inspector came, they had to hide Polish books and pretend to teach other subjects. Maria's mother was suffering from tuberculosis. But Maria didn't know that and complained. I wonder why my mother doesn't kiss me like other children's mothers. When her father had lost his job and her maternal uncle had failed in business, Maria's family became poor. Moreover, after her elder sister Josha died of typhoid, who had done the housekeeping in place of her sick mother, her family's hardship got worse. When her mother died two years later, Maria couldn't think of going to university. Women weren't allowed to enter a Polish university at that time, so they had no choice but to go to other countries, such as France, in order to study at a university. Maria looked after her elder sister Bronia, who wanted to study medicine in the first place. She worked as a tutor in order to make money needed for her sister's school expenses. Although it was very hard work, she faithfully taught her students. Six years passed, and her sister passed a medical examination after completing her studies in France. Maria, it's time for you to study. Please come to France right now. Studying at the Sorbonne University was very difficult because it had been a long time since she stopped studying. But Maria didn't give up her plan and studied very hard. She slept four hours a day and led a frugal life. As a result, she graduated at the top of her class. When the Paris Industrial Promotion Society asked Maria to research the performance of steel magnet, she was very happy because she wanted to continue her studies in Paris. But her laboratory was so small that she agonized over it. Just then, Professor Kowalski, a Polish physicist, introduced Pierre Curie to her, and they began their research together. Pierre Curie was a mathematician and physicist. Maria's enthusiasm led him to fall in love with her. At last, Pierre proposed to her, and they married. Pierre. It seems that uranium contains some substance much more powerful than uranium besides itself. Maria announced it to the society. The two people's research was getting brisker. Pierre borrowed a university warehouse in order to secure a better laboratory. Their hard research continued for several years even after that. At last they discovered a new element. Pierre and Maria named the element polonium after their country, Poland. But their research didn't cease at this point. One night the Curies went to their laboratory and saw a substance which was shining bluish. They discovered radium after all. 
Their discovery of radium made Pierre and Maria famous, and they received the Nobel Prize in Physics together with their joint researcher, Becquerel. After the discovery of radium, a lot of businessmen came to see them. But the Curies declined to apply for a patent and made public how to produce radium. One rainy night, Maria's husband, Pierre Curie, lost his life in an accident. As she was in great distress due to her husband's death, a lot of academic societies provided help to her. Maria's research continued even after that. She completed radium as metal and published a book titled Introduction to Radioactivity. Her research was acknowledged and she received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1911. When the First World War broke out, Europe fell into confusion. Maria couldn't continue her research, so she made a machine that used x-rays to diagnose a patient's wound and treated patients going around battlefields. The war ended and Maria's homeland gained independence. But Maria stayed in France to continue her research. However, her body was getting weaker and weaker. At last, Maria quietly closed her eyes due to an unknown disease related to radioactivity at the age of 67 in July 1934. Mrs. Maria Curie, who discovered radium and made a lot of achievements, is a true scientist who developed her own path with her will and efforts even in the difficult environment.